So if the BRCA1 mutation is dominant, then why don't all women with this mutation get breast cancer? Because, I mean, didn't we learn in Lesson 5 that if a person is heterozygous for a dominant gene, then they will, in fact, be affected by it? That is exactly what we learned in Lesson 5, and that's not the case here because the complex world of complex traits is complex, right? Some alleles, it turns out, don't always cause a phenotype because they're not what we call fully penetrant. So you're saying if you have a disease-causing allele, you might not actually have that disease? Exactly. That's exactly what penetrance is. Penetrance is the degree to which an allele causes a given trait. There are lots of examples of dominant traits that aren't actually fully penetrant. So how does that happen? Well, it's complicated, as you can imagine, and it's usually because there are multiple genes controlling any given trait. And although one allele of one of those genes could have a noticeable impact on the trait, we may or may not see it depending on what the alleles are for all the other genes. Well, how do we figure out what all these other alleles are? Well, research. Long, laborious research. For example, some research has shown us that the risk for breast cancer jumps to 60% if you have some types of these BRCA1 mutations. So, do 60% of women who have breast cancer have this mutation? That's a really good question, but the answer is actually no. In fact, very few women who have breast cancer actually have these mutations. If we look back at our original graph of breast cancer risk where the average was 12%, notice that a risk of 60% is way to the right of that, and only a few women have that risk, also implying that even fewer women have this particular mutation because it's not the only contributor to breast cancer. In fact, the prevalence of BRCA1 mutations varies in different ethnic populations of the world, but in the United States, for the general population, the prevalence of BRCA1 mutations affects less than 1% of the population.